Question number 251. You are developing an app that will use the Azure AI Fusion API to analyze an image. You need to configure the request that will be used by the app to identify whether an image is clip art or a line drawing. You need to complete the following request. Which value should you choose for placeholder 2? Option A. Description Option B. Image type Option C. Object Option D. Tags The correct answer is Option B. Image type This value is used in the Azure AI Fusion API to identify whether an image is clip art or a line drawing. The image type visual feature provides information about the type of image being analyzed, including whether it is clip art, a line drawing, or a regular photograph. Question number 252 You train an Azure AI custom vision image classification model used in a mobile app. You receive 1000 new images that do not have any associated data. You need to use the images to retrain the model. You must minimize the amount of time and effort required. Which three actions in sequence should you perform in the Azure AI custom vision portal? 1. Tag the images manually. 2. Review the suggestions and confirm the tags. 3. Group the images locally into category folders. 4. Upload the images by category. 5. Get suggested tags. 6. Upload all the images. Option A. 6, 2, 5. Option B. 6, 5, 2. Option C. 3, 4, 1. Option D. 6, 5, 1. The correct answer is Option B. 6, 5, 2. To minimize time and effort, first upload all 1000 images, then let custom vision generate suggested tags. Finally, review and confirm the suggestions. This process reduces manual tagging while ensuring tag accuracy before retraining. Question number 253. You have a factory that produces cardboard packaging for food products. The factory has intermittent internet connectivity. The packages are required to include four samples of each product. You need to build an Azure AI custom vision model that will identify defects in packaging and provide the location of the defects to an operator. The model must ensure that each package contains the four products. Which product type should you use? Option A. Food Option B. General Option C. General Compact Option D. Image Classification Option E. Logo Option F. Object Detection The correct answer is Option F. Object Detection To identify defects and ensure each package contains four product samples, you need to locate and count specific objects within the images. Object Detection is the correct project type because 
it detects and provides the location of multiple items in an image. Image classification only labels the image as a whole, not individual elements. Compact domains like general compact or specialized domains like food or logo do not provide location data. Question number 254. You have a factory that produces cardboard packaging for food products. The factory has intermittent internet connectivity. The packages are required to include four samples of each product. You need to build an Azure AI custom vision model that will identify defects in packaging and provide the location of the defects to an operator. The model must ensure that each package contains the four products. Which domain should you use? Option A, food. Option B, general. Option C, general, compact. Option D, image classification. Option E, logo. Option F, object detection. The correct answer is Option C, general, compact. Since the factory has intermittent internet connectivity, you need a model that supports offline deployment, which requires using a compact domain. While object detection is the correct project type for identifying and locating defects, the domain you choose must be one that supports exporting the model. General Compact is a domain that allows for offline ACE deployment and works with object detection project, fulfilling both the defect identification and offline use requirement. Question number 255. You have an Azure subscription that contains an Azure AI document intelligence resource named DI1. You build an app named App1 that analyzes PDF files for handwritten content by using DI1. You need to ensure that App1 will recognize the handwritten content. You need to complete the following code. Which value should you choose for placeholder 1? Option A, pre-built dash document. Option B, pre-built dash contract. Option C, pre-built dash read. The correct answer is option C, pre-built dash read. This model is designed to extract both printed and handwritten text from documents such as PDFs. Since your app needs to recognize handwritten content, the pre-built dash read model is the appropriate choice. It effectively identifies text from various sources including handwritten notes, making it ideal for your use case. Just a quick reminder, if you don't have time to watch these videos and instead download all questions and answers, feel free to purchase them on Buy Me A Coffee page. I have shared the link below. Question number 256. You have an Azure subscription that contains an Azure AI document intelligence resource named DI1. You build an app named App1 that analyzes PDF files for handwritten content by using DI1. You need to ensure that App1 will recognize the handwritten content you need to complete the following code. 
which value should you choose for placeholder 2? Option A 0 0.1 Option B 0 0.75 Option C 1.0 The correct answer is Option B 0 0.75 this threshold is commonly used in AI document analysis task to strike a balance between precision and recall. A confidence level of 0.75 means the model is 75% confident that the detected content is handwritten, which is generally reliable for this type of task. It minimizes false positives while ensuring accurate detection of handwritten content. Question number 257. You have an Azure subscription that contains an Azure OpenAI resource named AI1 and a user named User1. You need to ensure that User1 can perform the following actions in Azure AI Studio. Identify resource endpoints. View models that are available for deployment. Generate text and images by using the deployed models. The solution must follow the principle of least privilege. Which role should you assign to user 1? Option A, Cognitive Services, Open AI User. Option B, Contributor. Option C, Cognitive Services, Open AI Contributor. Option D, Cognitive Services Contributor. The correct answer is Option A, Cognitive Services, Open AI User. The Cognitive Services OpenAI user role grants just enough permissions for user 1 to identify resource endpoints, view available models, and use them to generate content in Azure AI Studio. It aligns with the principle of least privilege by not granting broader permissions like resource management or deployment. Other roles like Contributor or OpenAI Contributor provide more access than necessary. Question number 258. You have an Azure subscription that contains an Azure AI content safety resource named CS1. You need to call CS1 to identify whether a user request contain hateful language. You need to complete the below command. What should you choose for drop down 1? Option A Completions. Option B Content Safety. Option C Health Insights. Option D Language. The correct answer is Option B, Content Safety. Azure AI Content Safety is specifically designed to analyze text for harmful or unsafe content, including hateful language. Using Content Safety in the endpoint ensures that the appropriate API is called to evaluate a user request against predefined safety categories such as head speech. Question number 259. You have an Azure subscription that contains an Azure AI content safety resource named CS1. You need to call CS1 to identify whether a user request contains hateful language. You need to complete the below command. What should you choose for drop down to? Option A Completions. 
Option B, Embeddings. Option C, Text, Colon, Analyze. Option D, Text, Forward Slash, Lock List. The correct answer is Option C, Text, Colon, Analyze. It is used to evaluate the input text against safety categories like hate speech, violence, and other harmful content. This endpoint enables detailed analysis of the input text, identifying whether it contains hateful language or violence safety standards. Question number 260. You are building an app that will provide users with definitions of common AI terms. You create the following Python code. For the following statement, select yes if the statement is true. Otherwise, select no. The response will contain an explanation of large language models, LLMS, that has a high degree of certainty. Option A, yes. Option B, no. The correct answer is Option B, no. The response content and its degree of certainty depend on the specific model deployed. Engine equals deployment underscore name and how it has been fine-tuned. While the OpenAI Chat Completions API generates responses based on a trained model, it doesn't inherently guarantee a high degree of certainty or accuracy in its explanation of large language models, LLMS. The output quality is influenced by the model's training data and deployment configuration.